Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you yet again another Kong tutorial. It seems like um, every time I try to get out they just keep pulling me back in and uh, so I'm here to show you something else that you can do with Kong. Um, what I've been getting a lot of requests for is how to send uh, the outs from the Kong to different um, mixer channels and I showed a way to do that by sending um, seven Kong pads or drum sounds to different stereo channels um, in stereo. However, you can send all the Kong uh, drum devices inside a single Kong to their own separate channels. The only problem is, and the, this is a pretty big downside, is that it's all monophonic. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What I've done is I've created two mixers and a Kong device, and for the sake of brevity, I'm going to load up a Kong device, which has a bunch of different drums in it. All 16 drums are being used. And right now they're all going to this one um, mixer here, this one uh, mixer channel. So let's set this up. Let's remove these for a second. Let's remove the outputs for a second. What we are going to do is we're going to send, um, let's do the main audio to the first and second channel, just like this. And you're going to do the same thing all the way across all the different audios. Okay, so what you're doing is you're connecting all these audio outputs to their own channels monophonically, um, just through the left input here. And what you're going to notice is the reason why you need two different mixer devices is because you've got 16 channels to work with. And the mixer only holds 14 channels. So to get those last two drums, you have to send it over here. So this is the way the configuration looks like. Um, you can have the mixers chained to each other, that's fine. And then you're going to have the master output going into the combinator. Um, because later on you're going to want to save this as a template so you don't have to keep redoing this. Now, what's happening right now is that all of these drums are going to the master FX, or the master out. And that means that they're all going to go to these two channels here. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to get around that. So what we're going to do is, for the first drum, we're going to send these first two to the master out, which is fine. However, we're going to make it monophonic by panning the first drum left and panning the second drum right. So now they're truly monophonic. Okay. Now the third drum and the fourth drum are going to go to the outputs three and four. And same thing. You're going to pan number three this way. You're going to pan number four this way. Five and six. This also has to be 3 and 4, so these two are 3 and 4. That's 5, 6. This is 5, 6. So every two drums, you're going to have to change them. So 7 and 8 are going to be 7 and 8 pair. 9 and 10 are going to be the 9 and 10 pair. 11 is going to be 11, 12. 12 is going to be 11, 12. 13 is 13, 14. And 15 and 16 are 15 and 16. Okay. Now the only thing left to do is to pan each of your channels. you go. That is your basic setup and you'll notice it because each of them has their own channel. And of course 15 and 16 are on the second mixer. So that's how you've sent out your each of your Kong pads to their own mixer channel 
and you can obviously process each of these channels separately. You can have different effects on each of the channels. You can have different EQ from the mixer itself. Um, you can pretty much do what you want with this. Um, what I would do is once you have this set up is I would probably save this as a template and uh, that way you've got this this whole setup and all the routings saved and that way you don't have to go back in and do it over again. So I hope this sheds a little bit of light on how to set up Kong monophonically. Let's keep that in mind. It's definitely mono. There's no stereo here. Um, but in this way you can send each of the 16 channels or each of the 16 drum pads to their own mixer channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Rob, and come visit me at reason101.net for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.